you out here bumping with the big dogs. You just played against Steph Curry the other day, dude. Like, yeah. you told me that's your idol. Like, what's up? Like, <laughs> how, how, how was that? It, it's good, man. You know, just being able right now to go through, you know, um, go through this journey, um, being able to play against some of the best players in the world. Some of the people, like you said, who you like grew up idolizing um, is amazing. Learning from them, seeing about how they go through their pregame shoot arounds, their work um, before and after the game has just been, you know, incredible. For the people who don't know, Jalen Pickett plays for the, the defending NBA champion, Denver Nuggets. So you you got some guys on your squad, man. Like, how, how is it like playing with a team that just came off a NBA championship and you got the MVP? You know, you got guys like Jamal Murray on your team that are stars, like legitimate stars. Like, what's it like playing with those guys? Yeah, it's great playing with those guys, man. Seeing their IQ, um, seeing their approach to the game, um, and just basically seeing their competitors. You know, it's, I don't think people know how many games 82 is. Like, we're up and down every day. And, you know, if you didn't love basketball, you know, you wouldn't be able to play. It's gone! Miles Trent! Becomes the 38th player in the history of Nikolai basketball to go over 1,000 career points. What's up, everybody? It's Miles Dredd, host of The Heat Check, presented by State Media. Super excited to have you guys on the show. We're going to have weekly episodes with former Penn State basketball players and other hoopers across the Big Ten. Check us out on Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate you guys' support. Enjoy the show. College football tees, college basketball tees, whatever you need, Mercury has you covered with the best merch out there. We're talking about high quality clothing, inexpensive, and the best part is I have a 15% discount for everybody who goes and gets some right now. Use the code below, hit the link in the description, and go get your merch now. Use the code to get 15% off. What are you waiting on? Go do it. Welcome back to the newest episode of the Heat Check. It's your host, Miles Dredd. I'm here with a 2023 first team All American, uh, a 2,000 point, 2,000 plus point scorer in college, and a 24 year old man with a 42 year old man's game, Jalen Pickett. What's up, bro? How are you? What's up, brother? How you doing, my boy? I'm good, man. Just you know, I'm interested, man. I'm interested to know what's 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 it like in the league, man. You. You out here bumping with the big dogs. You just played against Steph Curry the other day, dude. Like, yeah. you told me that's your idol. Like, what's up? Like, talk to me. How, how was that? It, it's good, man. You know, just being able right now to go through, you know, um, go through this journey, um, being able to play against some of the best players in the world. Some of the people, like you said, who you and I grew up idolizing um, is amazing. Learning from them, seeing about how they go through their pregame shoot arounds, their work. Um, before and after the game has just been, you know, incredible. So, um, you know, not playing as much um, this year, but when I was able to get in and play some games, you know, just being able to, you know, guard these great players um, has just been unbelievable. And, you know, I can't wait to do it for, you know, many more years. Good. So, for the people who don't know, Jalen Pickett plays for the, the defending NBA champion, Denver Nuggets. So, you, you got some guys on your squad, man. Like, how, how is it like playing with a team that just came off a NBA championship and you got the MVP? You know, you got guys like Jamal Murray on your team that are stars, like legitimate stars. Like, what's it like playing with those guys? Yeah, it's great playing with those guys, man. Seeing their IQ, um, seeing their approach to the game, um, and just basically seeing their competitors. You know, it's, I don't think people know how many games 82 is. Like, we're up and down every day. And, you know, if you didn't love basketball, you know, you wouldn't be able to play. So these dudes coming in every night, giving it 110% when their bodies aren't feeling it, when they've been, you know, playing on back-to-backs, you know, uh, basically flying from one part of the state, one part of the U.S. to the next part. I mean, these dudes are, you know, grinding. So, I mean, it's a lot of travel on our bodies, but, I mean, it is just love for the game. Yeah, I mean, these guys are really good. I can't, I can't even lie to you. Like, you're like, Joker's amazing. He does stuff on a basketball court. He makes it look so easy. And it's so hard to do, but I mean, he makes it look so <laughs> easy, bro. It, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, that's the common misconception with a lot of people. Like, you know, everybody's like, well, how does Nikola Jokic just, like, do this? Like, you know, he don't look the part. It almost looks like he don't even, you know, want to be out there. But 
like you are a dude that goes to practice with him and, and, and see the work that he puts in. Like I can definitely see as a basketball mind, I know how difficult some of the stuff he does, but as an NBA player, you can even attest to it even more. Like he's doing some stuff that like shouldn't be happening. Shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it shouldn't be going on, but I can say about him and Jamal and, and Michael Porter, too. These dudes are always so consistent in their routines and how they approach the game that they've been doing it for so many years now that the game is going to come easy. If you do the same, like, you do the same routine. Like, I had a routine when I was at Penn State of how I wanted to work out and go about everything in the schedule, but they are, they've had the same routine for multiple years, and they're sticking to it, and they just know each other like the back of their hand now. So the, he's literally throwing the ball to where – People are going to be for the even there. Like, the pass doesn't even look open, but he's just, like, he'll zip the ball to the corner and know what Mike's going to flare to the corner. Like, yeah. it's just, like, they know how to play off each other. They know how to play with each other. And, you know, it's just a trust and a bond between, like, you know, one another. And, you know, I think that's why, you know, they're champions and why they're having us, you know, now getting into our routines, trying to make, you know, the young guys build these championship habits. So, you've seen a lot of guys. Who's been the most – influential vet, veteran veteran player for you and, and somebody that you, not necessarily taking you under your wing, but who you admired the most in the way they approach the game? Yeah. Um, I think I think definitely it's been Jamal. Maybe it's just because he's a point guard. Um, also, I think Reggie Jackson. I, know I sit next to Reggie a lot in the locker room. I mean, that's the guy I sit there. So I talk to Reggie a lot. Um, and, you know, both of those guys just talking about you know, how to be a point guard, how to control your team, what to look for, how to set people up. I mean, Reggie's done a really great job with me. Um, just basically showing me, you know, different tricks and different things to make the game easier for you. You know, don't fight it. He says it all the time. Don't fight the game. Um, I mean, you play so many games with so many good defenders that, you know, you got to play with pace and purpose and know what you're doing. Like, they know the defense doesn't know what you're doing, so you know what you're doing, so you can control the game. And, I mean, um, that's probably the biggest thing I took, you know, you know, definitely from Reggie. Well, I mean, you of all people know how to play with pace because you're just slow as hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got, that, I got that Lucas speed, man. I got that Lucas speed. <laughs> um, so transitioning, I guess, from used to being a vet, now you're a rook, right? So what do you miss most about – college basketball is it being the old guy in the locker room giving advice instead of receiving all the advice what's up everybody it's miles dread are you one of those people who struggles to eat healthy every day especially for me i'm on the go i found something that's really helped me out factors delicious ready to eat meals wherever tomorrow takes you be ready with pre-prepared chef crafted and dietitian approved meals right to your door you'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from including keto calorie smart vegan veggie and more with over 55 nutrition packed add-ons that'll help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious fuel up fast with factors restaurant quality meals that are ready to heat and eat wherever you are snacks smoothies and more get as much or as little as you need by choosing six to 18 meals per week plus you can pause or reschedule your deliveries at any time no prep no mess meals factor meals are 100 ready to heat and eat so there's no prepping cooking or cleanup needed head to factormeals.com slash heat check 50 and use code heat check 50 to get 50% off. That's code HEATCHECK50 at factormeals.com slash HEATCHECK50 to get 50% off. What you waiting on? Let's go. Oh, man. Sometimes, you know, as a rookie, you know, you get there, games at 7, I'm getting there at 3 o'clock, 3.15. Like, I'm getting there super before a game. And then sometimes you still got to play at night. So I'll get there and I'll work out or whatever. And then I'll sit down for two hours before the game even starts. So it's like, you know, I miss, you know, showing up and getting warm and then going right into the plane. Sometimes I warm up, get cold, and then got to rewarm back up again. I mean, it, it's tough, man. But uh, I think the most – what I miss most about college basketball is definitely, definitely the student section. Like the fans are good in the NBA, of course, but, you know, just having those that, that student section barking at you before you come out, you know, doing their research and, you know, talking junk. and yeah, that is, That's definitely what I miss most, man. There's just that – Student section environment, those students right behind the bench just chirping at you nonstop. Uh, I'm, I miss that the most. Shout out to the Legion of Blue, man. 
For sure. Shout out to Luke and Drew. They, they definitely. They came man, through. Man, they, 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 man, them boys came through for us. I, I loved it. We needed them that last, especially Maryland, that last game. No doubt. No doubt. When Shrews made the switch from one side of the court to the other, yeah. I think that won us about three or four games last year for sure. Yeah. For sure. Going at Tom Mizzle, got him going crazy, man. It was great. Crazy. <laughs> crazy. I'm still mad we lost that game. Still. So, speaking of Tom Izzo and other Big Ten opponents, who are the Big Ten award winners in your opinion? You got player of the year, coach of the year, right? Sick man, freshman, and then I guess I'll give you um, uh, defensive player of the year. You got defensive player of the year. Okay. Who, who are your award winners? I'm going to go ace baller. I'm going to go ace baller. D- D- defensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year. I bet I'm gonna go baseball. That dude. That's my pick. You know he he he's been in people's stuff all year. You know, been up on him, making people turn the ball over, good with his hands. So I'm gonna give baseball one defensive player. Player of the year now. See you be obvious, on, bro. You be on some, bro. You be putting out some crazy takes, dog. Look, like, come on. Look, listen, listen. Hear me out. Hear me out. It go. It could go a couple ways here. No the can't. choice is Zachy. Now, yeah. Now, you think? now, if Illinois somehow closes the gap and they could tie it, I like Terrence Shannon. I do. He like missed that. a month of the season, bro. Hey, look, man. If they get number one, you got. I, I like him. If they but get, he missed a month of the season. Like, I love Terrence Shannon. Don't you, get me wrong. Who would you pick on that I team? Who would uh-huh. you pick on that team? You don't have to pick anybody else. I think, hey, man, I think the way that boys were playing, you know, he's been playing unbelievable. And, of course, Northwestern is in the mix, too. If they get it, I think Boo Boy finally deserves, you know, you know his, his due. So, between that, those. I'm, I'm not mad at that take. That, now, honestly, uh, those are just, those are three in the mix. Zach is going to win. I mean, Zach he's, he's going to win. Yeah, but those two deserve their dues. I mean, it, it, it's tough that how it. I felt like me. I felt like it was the same way last year. Like me and me or Trace could have been in it, but you know, Zachy, the dude's average like twenty five and fifty to get. <laughs> like, I mean, he's number five. Uh, Coach of the year. I'm gonna go with the guy from Nebraska, Fred Hoiberg. I think he's been good. He was good last like year. Hoiberg. He's he's number two for me. He's been good I last think, year, and I think he's I doing. Ben Johnson from Minnesota. Yeah. yeah, I mean he's been doing good. But I mean, I, don't know. I like, I like, I like him. I like Fred from Nebraska. He runs some good stuff. They're they're a tough defensive team, and they you know playing them at home. They beat they beat Purdue. Like you can't nobody can beat him at home. That is a tough place. He has made that a tough place to play. They're entertaining basketball. They play good basketball. Um, they just got their win in Indiana on the road. So yeah, um, that's definitely my. Coach of the year right now, six man. I mean, six man is you know. Yeah, that's I, that's a tough one, bro. I, I mean, know. people people switch up the lineups all the time, so I don't really know who would be considered a six yeah. man. I don't know. Uh, I seen um, who did they bring off the? I don't know who does Illinois bring off the bench. Was it Ty Rogers? Ty Rogers starts though. Ty Rogers starts, I believe. Yeah, so I don't really know too much about six man, but those, those will be my award right now, though, for sure. Zach Eady, Zach Eady, Ace Ball was freshman of the year. Freshman of the year. Hmm. There's a lot of good ones, bro. There's a lot of them. Who you Who you think? <sighs> well, who was he? There's a There's a um. What about the young? There's a young kid at Rutgers, right? The point guard. Yeah, I don't know if he's a freshman. I don't think he's a freshman. You don't think he's a Lexington kid? I like Damask from uh, Illinois a lot. He's not a freshman. A whole a newcomer. I'm sorry, newcomer. My apologies. Newcomer. Yeah. Newcomer. Yes. Okay. Damask from Illinois. Absolutely. He is solid. You know. They yeah. were like, you know, he's turning the ball over against Penn State. I'm like, bro, everybody turns the ball over against Penn State. Like, yeah. like, come on, bro. But, I mean, he Lance was Jones. very, very efficient. Who? The guy from Purdue. Lance Jones. Lance Jones. I like him. I like him. He's an entertainer. Right. My boy, 
Well, he does a little dance, a little Purdue dance. Purdue dance. <laughs> but that's, do you put Ace in that combo? You got to, right? I do. I do. Yeah. I mean, that's another, that's another tough one. That's another tough one for me. I mean, if you go by numbers, Ace is Ace. I think numbers are better than theirs. Mm-hmm. But I mean, but the team, some, of those, some of those teams are doing better, right? Yeah. yeah. The better, so I think I will go in this instance. I think I will go don't mask mm-hmm. too, just with you. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, that's a tough one. But I think I think don't mask probably is is the best one. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, I that 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 was my pick. Also, like, is there, um the the wear kid from Indiana, small kid. He's got a game. Yo, I watched him put up an effortless double figure game against Penn State. Like, it looked like it, it looked like he was like he's like Trace. Bored. Bored. That's how I see. Yeah, him. like he was he was bored almost. He's like, well, I'm just I'm getting out of here next year. Just letting y'all know. So. <laughs> Good year. <laughs> like, just, every one, every couple plays, he'll just do something that's like, yeah. mm, if you would do that every time, yeah. Bro, those boys are Indiana struggling this year, man. Yeah, see it, it's man. tough. Yeah, I mean injuries, man. Xavier X can't get healthy. I was just talking to Xavier, bro. I went out to eat with him when they came. Like he, he's just it's tough. Like how do you? It's, and it's like unfortunate injuries. It's like you know you fall on your arm during the game. Yeah. Like you tearing ligaments. Like come on, bro. Like that's that's just unfortunate. That's buzzer luck. It's tough for him. It's tough yeah. one. So. It's, it's it's getting close to that time of the year. Penn State's on a roll right now. They're playing really, really, really good basketball right now. Do you think, in your heart of hearts, that they have enough on their resume to make it to the NIT? I think they have enough on their resume right now to go to the NIT. Of course, a couple more games left. I think one more, one or two more lines they'll be able to go for sure. But, Miles. February. I was looking at the record. It says seven and nine. No, that record was last year. Seven and nine. But like us, bro. Hey, hey, hey! Uh, hear me out. The boys, the boys. Look, I I know they lost Kanye. That's my guy, man. But boys, seven and nine. Then the boys get a couple more. Get rolling. I see those boys. That we might be dancing two years in a row. I don't want to get ahead. Of, I want to get ahead of myself. I want to get ahead of myself. They got to keep. They got to keep playing good basketball, man. But. Keep them even kill. Gotta keep it. I don't want them to get I don't want them to get too comfortable. But you know, we had to believe last year. We were five and nine. We was like, yo, we went, we eliminated a couple of these mistakes right here, right there. And we could do can easily win or streak, start streaking. And what we do, we yeah. eliminated a couple things. And you know, I mean, those dudes started. Because the thing about it is too, when I was watching that Illinois game, I was like, yeah, they got down, babe, but they were sh- shooting themselves in the foot. That was the whole reason they got down. I was like, you eliminate a couple of these bad shots, a couple of these turnovers here, and box out, then you're going to be right there. So, I mean, hey, the, hey, Rose is doing a great job. Those boys are doing good. I mean, I think they can get to – I think they're NIT right now, and they compete for a championship in NIT. But that the goal for them right now, I feel like, wipe this, wipe this slate clean, you know. You lost Kanye right now, zero and zero. And, and yeah, them boys should be knocking on the door in March Madness. I don't think anybody's gonna want to play them. You know, come tell me. They agree. For so many turnovers. There are two teams. There's two teams that people just absolutely don't want to play right now. Three, three teams. Oh, excuse me. Rutgers. Nobody want to play Rutgers right now. Nebraska, because they they they're hot. Mm-hmm. They're playing really well. And Penn State. Penn State. Just because of how like it's just chaos from from for 40 minutes, like yeah. 94 feet. Chaos defense turning you over like they're making you uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Like we, we the difference from this year to last year. Like we played a pack line. Yeah. We're gonna force you to shoot bad contested twos. That's those are the shots that we want you to take. Yeah. If you beat oh, us like that, yeah. we feel like nobody can outshoot us. So we wanted you yeah, to shoot. We, those shots. <laughs> could, what do you mean? Nobody could outshoot us. Nobody could outshoot us. So we wanted you to oh, shoot as yeah. shots as possible. Yeah, go ahead. Shoot as many as you want. But for me, my this year they forcing the issue. Yeah. Like they're like, no, we're not even going to let you get there. Like we're just going to steal the ball from you. 
Yeah, they're going to gamble and we're rotate, and we're going to gamble again. They're a big team, man. I mean, besides A's, you got you know, so you start Kern, you start Hicks, Dunn, Dunn, Dunn Bob. I mean, that's mm-hmm. a, that's a off the bench. You got Puff. You Puff. Got, I mean, like they got length. Oil. They're a long, athletic team. That's a big team, man. That's gonna be tough to score in um in March. I like I like us. I like I like those boys. I like how they playing right now. Uh huh. And they shooting the ball well. And shout out, shout, shout out Millsy, man. Millsy making shots for us, man. Mills, shout out Millsy, man. No worm. I told Mel Brown, man. We gotta get we gotta get worm on the show, man. I told him, man. He gotta get him on the show, man. I told him keep shooting that thing with confidence, man. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't ever let your confidence waver, man. But I think no that Penn State, um, Nebraska are, are two teams that are hot right now that I've been watching. And you know, mm-hmm. it's gonna be interesting to see. I I think Northwestern. Wherever they fall, I think the Western's gonna be a, a real tough out. I think the boys might go to the championship this year, the Big Ten title. Whoa! I think they might go. Hot take. Hot take. I just I, I've watched them a couple of times. They just it's a, they're a tough team. They tough to play against. Not gonna score a lot. Play tough defense. Then you know at the game close, you got Bowie taking over. I mean that's you know, that's bro, a hear me out. Big Ten tournaments in Minneapolis, bro. Yeah, home court advantage. Know. Nobody yeah. even close. Lost Northwestern lost tie, right? They lost tie. Yeah, they lost tie. Barry. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a blow. Bro. If he was there, if he was there, I liked him as a pick, though. If he was there, no I liked him as a pick. Well, no I, 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 I like Northwestern. So, the last segment of the show before I let you go. I know Mom's in there cooking dinner. I know. Shout out, shout out, Mom's. You know she getting in, getting right. in. Uh, we got a we got a heat check segment, okay? So this is where we ask some controversial or you know just quick hitter questions that you may. It's basically just to get your opinion and let the fans know who you are a little bit by giving you some difficult questions to answer. Okay, so good. here we go. These are would you rather questions. All right, baseball or football? Football. I play football. Moe's or Chipotle? Ah, this is where it gets dicey. <laughs> I might have to go Moe's, man. I might have to go Moe's. Wow. Welcome to Moe's, man. Welcome to Moe's. Shout, Mo's. Out. <laughs> Shout out, man. That queso really do it to me every time, man. That queso going to do it every time. A little stag. You put me on a stag with a little bacon bit. Come on, man. <laughs> But you get that most uh, night. Like that ain't I can't have most of lunch. That those is dinner only. Strictly yeah, dinner. Put you right to sleep. Yeah, you ain't, <laughs> you ain't doing nothing to you just that. <laughs> um rapper R and B. R and B. R and B. Okay. R and B. in his fields, y'all. <laughs> Jordan or LeBron? Jordan. Come on, man. He already know. That was too quick, big. Jordan, man. Come on, man. That was too quick, bro. Well, but man, it's okay. I'll give it to you. Any of the competition, honestly. LeBron, like, fifth or sixth. I ain't even going to lie. <laughs> but, oh, well. Michael Jackson or Prince? Michael Jackson. Okay. Michael Jackson. Mike, Michael Jackson is the greatest all the time. Anybody who would stand on stage for two minutes, not say a word, and just let the crowd go crazy, go. Go, go. sad. Okay. Floyd Mayweather or Mike Tyson? So this is another tough one because, yes, Floyd has the record, but if you put them two in a boxer ring and a cage, <laughs> Mike is about to get with him. Like, <laughs> like he's about to get with Floyd. And Floyd be like all that defense, like Mike is too strong. So I'm going to go Mike Tyson. If I needed somebody on my team, I'm going Mike Tyson. I think you picked pretty much similar to what I would have picked other than that that Michael Jordan stuff. Like, Jordan, <laughs> you know, I love the Jews. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if the competition back then was as elite as it is today, but, you know, that's your opinion. Got to keep the yeah. Jays on you, man. Got to keep the Jays on you, man. <laughs> I don't even all the play on the Browns. That's all I got to say, man. Okay. All right. I'll give it to you. <laughs> I appreciate you so much, my brother. You know you can call me at any time. Love you for life. Thank you so much for hopping on with me, bro. Anytime, man. Heat check. Big whoop out.
What's up, everybody? Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Heat Check. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so we can continue to have big-time guests and create great content for you guys. And if you haven't yet, check us out on social media in the links below. Really appreciate you guys' support. We'll see you next week.